Computers Gaming, Master System Memory, Sonic Special! Charity work. About which, uh, under no circumstances, do I wish to talk. Oh, give me strength. Sega! Hi, I'm Samuel Victor, and you're watching Pixel Plays. You must be very excited. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Around once a month I'll be doing a Let's Play video to break up the weight between the more complicated, full storytelling episodes. To differentiate between them, I'll call these playthroughs Pixel Plays, and you just stumbled across the very first ever episode! Lucky you! Lucky, lucky, lucky. I'll play each game all the way through, from start to finish, and provide full commentary whilst playing, giving hints and tips, trivia and opinions about the game, and to make it more fun, I'll be setting myself a tough set of challenges for each playthrough as well. Today, I'll be playing the Master System version of Sonic the Hedgehog, a game that I know pretty well, but I want to challenge myself to do the perfect run, and for good measure, I'll be doing it to raise money for charity. Oh, give me strength. Well, mate, now if you'd done as much tremendous good work for charity as me, you wouldn't like I to talk do. about it. I do. I... I do charity work, I just don't like to talk about how I don't like to talk about it, that's the difference. Of course you don't, and you certainly don't like to talk about doing the marathon, do you mate? As I mentioned in the last video, this September I'm running a special challenge in Disneyland Paris. Over the course of the weekend, I'll run a 5k race, then a 10k race, and then a half marathon, so over 36 kilometres in total. I've never run that far in such a short time, so it's going to be a big challenge for me. Victories within the mouth Almost there, don't give a shout How much further? It's a little tiny nine miles You're feeling like you're running, huh? Now you know how we feel I'm doing it to raise money for a selection of several mental health charities, non-profits and groups that have helped me and those close to me in the past From big charities like mine to smaller local independent projects It's a subject close to my heart because I myself have dealt with clinical depression, stress and anxiety ever since I was a teenager, as have many of my friends, family and colleagues. So, as I said last video, I know firsthand just how helpful support and a friendly ear can be, and how important it is to raise awareness and reduce stigmas around mental health. Once again, just to clarify, no money donated is going to pay for my travel to Paris, my expenses, anything like that. That's already covered. 100% of any money raised will go to the good causes. For anyone interested in making a donation, I've set up a GoFundMe page. Links are in the description, and thank you so much in advance. Only thing that's on my mind is who's Run. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. I can run like ten blocks. Run, fat boy, run! Run. They do run, run, run. They do run, run. It just pulled down. It just pulled down. In addition to the charity run, I'm going to use this Let's Play as an excuse for me to donate to the cause myself. So here's the rules of today's challenge. Don't you know the rules? What rules? Do you know? Jesus Christ, you don't know the rules? Uh, have an aneurysm, why don't you? Just one. I must complete the whole game in less than 45 minutes. Two. I must finish with a score of at least a million points. With the rising sun. Three. I must collect every Chaos Emerald. What are you waiting for? Four. I must collect the hidden Extra Life TV on every one of the 18 main stages. Five, 
I must complete all eight bonus levels. Susie heard it from Lisa, who's best friends with Nancy, who goes out with Dennis's friend Robert with the bad skin, not handsome Robert. And he told Nancy, who told Lisa, who told Susie, who told me, that Dennis told the boys in the locker room that you and he had sex at the movies the other night. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So it's not true. Six. I must collect every life and every continue TV in every bonus level. Wanna make you mine, better get in line. Five, six. Seven. I must collect as many extra lives as possible. Because... Because, 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 Hello? Ma! I want you to get your Jordans off my walkway. That's what I'll... You be quiet, Missy. In addition to this, I'm going to try my best to do all of that without actually losing any lives or even being hit once and not using any shields. I don't think I've actually ever managed that before, so this will be quite the challenge. So, you'd like to pit your skills against one of my little challenges? The reason for collecting and saving these lives is that I'll be using them to donate to the Charity Race Fund. For every extra life that I have remaining at the end of the game, I will donate one pound of my own money, and for every continue that I have remaining, I'll donate five pounds. I'm pretty sure that's going to cost me a lot of money, but it's all for a good cause. You can sit at home watching and cheering me on, willing me to be poorer and lose my overdraft. Well, basically, I want to ask him if I can have, like, an extension on my overdraft, but I know there must be a better way of putting it than that. <laughs> well, what about, uh, give me some more money? Right. You, you bastard! <laughs> It's a bit strong. Ah, uh, Neil, people like that respect strength. Yeah, you're right. I'm playing the European PAL version of the game, which I grew up with. However, I mod all of my consoles to play at 60 hertz, so I'll be running at full NTSC speed and the proper aspect ratio. Also, I'll be playing with an official Sega controller, but I'll slightly cheat and use the Mega Drive 6 button, as the D-pad is far more reliable and responsive than the Master System one. Hey, it's my challenge, my rules. I break the rules so I don't care. This is the first gameplay video that I've ever tried to record on my PC, so I really hope it works and I don't end up doing an amazing, flawless run only to find out it was all lost. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. So lucky, 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 lucky. Two thousand years later. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, now I'm not gonna lie, this is not my first attempt. This is actually my fifth attempt, but it still counts if I can due to challenge in one go all the way through. So I've had to restart four times, but it should now be five times lucky because I was a little bit rusty and I'd forgotten a couple of things and now I've remembered it all and, and got the hang of it again. So you see there was an extra life hidden in that tree and this is the first of the hidden extra lives I was talking about, where you have to find all the hidden extra lives. So this is Act 1 of Green Hill Zone. Quite similar to the Mega Drive game, as you can tell, obviously graphically cut down. Now, if you look at how many rings I've got there, I've got 57. I did that for a reason. The exclamation mark at the end means that I got more than 50 rings but less than 100, and that means I get to go into one of these bonus stages like this. Now, I don't know about you, but I much prefer these bonus stages to the Sonic 1 bonus stages. The Sonic 1 bonus st stages on the Mega Drive I always found insanely frustrating. They're, they're cool graphically, but I don't really like them, whereas this is quite fun. It's like being in a kind of pinball machine with all these springs. So you have the ring spell Sega, and then you've got to continue there. Now, these special stages, there's eight of them, and they have hidden TVs in them. Like I said, I'm trying to get all the TVs. But also, if I can get 100 rings, like I just did there, I also got an extra life. So 
Remember, I'm trying to collect extra lives, so... In that special stage, I got a continue, which is worth £5, and another extra life, which is worth £1. Now, Green Hill Zone Act 2 is where we've become a little bit less traditional and less like the Mega Drive game and more original. You see, we fall into the floor here and it's more like a... Uh, like a labyrinth under the ground. There's the hidden extra life. You just saw that. Um, obviously this water slows you down. Um, the instinct is to jump so you move faster, but then you'll hit the spring. See that, that little downward arrow there, uh, that's a continue point. Um, I don't really need to get them because I'm not planning on getting hit. Now if we fall down to the right here, then to the left and go to the right again, you see there is a Chaos Emerald. Um, in the Master System and Game Gear versions of Sonic 1 at least, the Chaos Emeralds are just hidden in the levels. They're not places that you would necessarily go if you were just trying to complete the level, but if you go a little bit off the beaten track, you can find them. Now again, you notice I'm going to try and get more than 50 rings, which I've got now, but I need to make sure that it doesn't go over 99. Because of course if it goes over 99 rings, then you get an extra life, but also your ring count goes back down to zero, and you need to be over 50 in order to get the bonus stitch. So every level we're aiming to get more than 50, but less than 100. So this is the second bonus stage. This uh, bonus stage, you have to make, you notice I'm going quite slow now, because you have to get quite a lot of these rings, not all of them, because if you're too fussy and try and get all of them, it'll slow you down too much, but I need to get most of these early rings, otherwise I've got no chance of getting it hungry. Now, there's a continue over here, so we can just jump up. There we go. Continue. Now, if you bounce slowly through this passage, you collect a lot more rings than if you get fast. There's an extra life up there, which you have to hit to make it fall down. There we go. And then we can go underneath this bouncy thing to pick it up. And... There we go! Over 100 rings as well. So we've got two extra lives, one from the TV and one from over 100 rings. Oh, I'm just about to run out of time! Oh my gosh! See that? That's zero seconds left. Zero seconds left. Wow! Okay. I was lucky. Doing it a bit fine there, but... Uh, okay, so Act 3. Same with uh, Sonic 1 on the Mega Drive, basically each zone is three acts, and the third act is a boss. So if we jump over this hole, but then we fall down the second hole, and we spin, we can get that extra life which is hidden. Sneaky, hiding the extra life away down a pit that you'd think would kill you, but it doesn't. Here we go. Now here's the first major difference between the Master System version of this game and the Game Gear version. In the Game Gear version, because the Game Gear has a lower pixel density, lower screen resolution, um, Robotnik is significantly lower because there's less pixels for him to fly around in. So you can literally just jump up and hit him. Um, there we go. Uh, whereas on the Master System version you have to wait for him to come down. Um, there are some ways to hit him while he's up the top, but you have to be in exactly the right place and it's a bit glitchy. It's not very elegant, so I prefer to do it this way. There we go, we've hit him enough times. Notice when I did that little jump on him when he flew at me. Um, that's a risky move. I like doing it because it feels cool, but um, if you're trying to play it safe, don't do that. Just jump straight over him. Um, but there's two types of jump in Sonic, uh, as is with most Sonic games. If you just tap the button, he'll jump shallow, and if you hold it, he'll jump higher. So with that, when he rushes at you, if you do the shallow jump, if you time it right, you can bounce on top of him and get another hit in. So this is our first original stage. Notice the Green Hill Zone was basically just a version of the Mega Drive, uh, the Mega Drive game, with the same music, although an 8-bit rendition of it. I really like the Green Hill Zone music on both 16 and 8-bit. I think it was really good, but this... Uh, this stage here is called the Bridge Zone, because there's lots of bridges in it, I guess. And it's um, not a very original name uh, for a zone, but it's a fun 
Cocktail Zone with some nice kind of design elements. And the music is really good. The music was actually... Allegedly, supposedly... Now, right, do that three times. Yeah, you saw how I bounced three times on that. Um, and then fall down here and jump and get the Chaos Emerald. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, you saw how I jumped like three times on the uh, seesaw. That's because uh, each time you jump slightly higher and you have to get higher. You have to get really high to get that uh, extra left. So again, obviously I've got over 50 rings, so I'm in the special stage. This, for my money, is the hardest special stage. You have to be really quick, but also get almost all these rings. I'm doing quite well, but I don't want to talk about trouble. Get almost all the rings at the beginning, uh, because otherwise you've got no chance of getting 100 rings. Let it continue. Now, you see the, the springs that I'm hitting on the floor are different colours. What you want to be doing is hitting the purple ones when you're in that kind of difficult area where you can bounce on the sideways springs as well. You want to hit the purple ones on the floor because the purple ones don't bounce you as high, so it's easier to control yourself and you don't hit those sneaky... Oh my goodness! Down to zero seconds again! Wow. Zero seconds. So I managed it, I got the two extra lives and it continued, so that's awesome. But uh, yeah, it very nearly didn't, but... Right. Bridge Zone 2 is an auto-scrolling stage, as you can see, which some people hate, but I actually really like. I think it, uh, it adds another element of strategy to it, because you can run all over the screen. These enemies, like you see, he's got spikes in the top, so obviously you can't jump on him, you have to roll at him. Um, but you have to make sure not to roll at him when he's up the bridge, when he's higher than you, because otherwise uh, it hurts him. Um, so yeah, uh, allegedly this music was used by Janet Jackson in the song Together Again from oh, about 95, I think it was on now 30, so that would have been 95. Um, everywhere I go, every smile I see, I know you are there, smiling back at me. That one. You'd never believe I was on Pop Idol, would you? Genuinely I was. I did quite well, but, yeah. Don't see nowadays. Now look. Jump. Do you think I'm gonna fall? No! I hit an extra life, bouncing on the water. That's cool, but you have to bounce straight off it, but that's where the extra life is hidden. Everywhere I go, every smile I see, I know you are there, smiling back at me. It's not exactly the same tune, but apparently it's similar enough that if you have the Janet Jackson CD, it actually credits Yuzo Koshiro, I think, in the linear notes. I think it was Yuzo Koshiro wrote this, or composed this track. By the way, I absolutely love the Bridgestone theme. It was always one of my favourite bits of Sonic music. The Master System sound chip gets a lot of uh, stick, especially when you don't have the Japanese machine with the FM synthesis. But um, when it's used properly, I actually really like uh, the Master System music. Obviously, I'm very nostalgic for it, but... Um, I don't understand the people that say that the Master System sounds so much worse than the NES. I, I really don't hear that at all. To me it sounds really nice when it's used properly. Um, so this is the fourth stage, and, and nicely enough, this is the only one that has pinball flippers. So you know how I said it was a bit like a pinball machine? Well, this stage actually has flippers. Although they're pretty useless, to be honest, I don't use them very much. <laughs> um, Again, early on in the stage, make sure you get as many rings as you can. Um, and then when you fall down, this is a vertical stage, you'll notice, like you keep falling down. So uh, you need to stick to the middle. And you need to stay in the middle to get that continue. And then stay in the middle again here to get those rings. And then again, you just fall and you're at the bottom. But because we got so many rings earlier, uh, that means we did get 100 rings. So we got... Uh, 
Extra life for 100 rings, extra life in a TV, and it continues. That's brilliant. So, uh, Bridgestone Act 3 is the boss. Now, if we run straight to the left and jump, there we go, there's our TV with our hidden extra life. Quite a classic thing to do. I don't know which game did that first. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments. Uh, but, you know, run left straight away and you get a uh, bonus. When you're jumping on Robotnik here, make sure you jump in the middle and bounce three times the first two times and twice the third time. You see how I only bounced twice on him then? Because if I'd have bounced the third time, I would have fallen through, because once he's, like, red and exploding, you don't bounce off him, you just fall straight through him and die. Um, so you bounce on him three times, and then you bounce on him three times again, and then two times, and then you're done. And when you're bouncing on him, make sure that you're bouncing in the middle, uh, because if you bounce slightly to the left or slightly to the right, then his projectiles will hit you. You have to be right in the middle. Whether he appears on the left or the right-hand side is random, as far as I can tell. So then he was, you know, three times on the left, but sometimes it's left, right, left, sometimes it's right, you know, whatever. Okay, so this is uh, Jungle Zone, another completely original zone to the 8-bit Sonic games. Here's the extra life, we just have to jump up these waterfall kind of platforms. It's a little bit fiddly, but easy enough. Again, original music on this stage, and it's absolutely fantastic, really, really catchy. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to have the audio quite low on this playthrough, because I really don't want to get copy striked or anything, and risk the channel. Um, but uh, there's plenty of places where you can find the 8-bit themes online and listen to them. This water here is... Uh, it has a current in, you can see it's stopping me running, you have to kind of run and jump, and it makes it so you might fall down that hole, so something to be careful for, but again, get used to it. Uh, jump over here. Right, now this second waterfall with platforms, you don't want to go all the way across it, you want to stand on this log and wait till it is nearly in the bottom, and you're nearly going to sink, and then you take a shallow jump, so just tap it off the left, and then fall off that platform, and you see now I'm rolling on this log, and that's where your third Chaos Emerald is hidden. And then if you go back on this log, you can roll it all the way to the right and avoid a huge portion of this level. Um, you see we've got a huge waterfall, massive waterfall up there, and there's another one just coming up here. Uh, or I believe there is. Um, lots of very awkward platform jumping anyway. Oh no. Yeah, but lots of very awkward jumping. Wait for it to slow down and then jump off. Jump over these spikes carefully. We've avoided all the difficult platform jumping. Now again, I need to make sure I've got 72 rings. I need to make sure I don't go over 100, but I think we're right near the end here. So it shouldn't be a problem. There we go. So that'll take us to the bonus stage again. And... Um, you might notice there's quite a lot of slowdown in this game. This isn't like anything weird, like emulation issues or anything, or my PC lagging. It's literally, there is this sl much slowdown in the original game. It's, you know, it, it, it's not bad. Um, I'm completely used to it, so I just adapt to it automatically because I've played this so many times. Um, quite half the course with 8-bit games that once there's lots of sprites on screen it gets a bit slow. Um, you notice this special stage is exactly the same as the first special stage we had, uh, because there's really there's four special stages and it repeats them twice, so there's eight special stages, but there's four. Um, but I don't know if you saw, but there was like pink candy bars bouncing around. Um, kind of candy bar platform things, and they're really annoying, they slow you down a lot. So obviously that was the easiest special stage, because it's a repeat of the first one, so I did manage to get the 100 rings plus the two TVs. Oh no, there's only one TV in that first uh, special stage, but yeah, all the TVs that there was and the extra life. Um, but once we get to the third one repeating again, I'm probably not going to they're trying to get the 100 rings because those kind of bouncy candy bar platforms just really slow you down. So considering I got 
<laughs> down to zero seconds on the last kind of two attempts of the third and fourth. No, of the second and of the second and third special stage. I'm going to have to be careful. So obviously this is Jungle Zone Act Two, and you notice this is a vertical level. It does scroll a little bit left and right, but it's mostly vertical. And the interesting thing with this is, I don't know if you notice the scrolling looks a bit erratic when it's going up. That's because whenever you jump to a higher position than you've ever been before, like every time I jump on a platform, the screen adjusts itself up higher. And there's quite a cool but annoying mechanic that um, once the screen has got that high, it locks. So if you fall back down, you won't end up on a lower platform or you won't go further down the level. Right, bounce on this extra life and then bounce straight off. You see there's a spring underneath it <laughs> when you get that extra life. Um, yeah, so when you... If you fall down, you'll die. So the name of the game in this level is to keep moving upwards and don't fall down. Uh, there's two kind of routes that you can take with some of those platforms. You can go left or right. If you stick to the left, you get a 10 rings and that takes you to over 50, obviously. So you've got the uh, thing. Now, if you look to the right hand side of the screen, you see Sonic is kind of glitching out there. Um, again, that happens on genuine hardware. It's always happened. I've, I've always wondered why. Um, I think he just, they didn't quite program him running off the screen. He stops just before he disappears. Uh, it doesn't matter, it's just one of those little weird things you notice. So yeah, this is obviously a repeat of the second bonus stage, um, but now we've got the annoying bouncy candy bars. I'm not even going to bother trying to get a hundred rings there, um, but I did get the extra life and the continue TV, so those two TVs are what the challenge was. We're now up to 22 extra lives and uh, the Chaos Emerald, and we're on the jungle bonus stage. Now on the jungle bonus stage, if you run and then you'll see there's some yellow flowers, if you jump to the yellow flowers, you'll bounce straight on the TV and bounce straight back up again. That's what the hidden TV is. Um, we go up these vines, and then we've got quite a tricky boss. So I remember when I was young, I found this hard, but now I can pretty much do it every time. Um, so you run to the far left and jump up. Run to the far right, run to the far left, jump up. So you're just basically running from each side. You can, When he comes lower, you can hit him. And then if you're slick and quick, you can run to the other side to get as high as you can, and then run and jump and hit him twice each cycle. If you want to be safe, then only hit him once per cycle, and just make sure you avoid the bombs. Uh, now that little jump there, once you've killed the boss, you can still die. If you miss that jump, um, you fall down and die. But uh, I didn't miss the jump, so there we go, that's good. One thing I should point out, um, you see it says I've got 23 extra lives. 23 extra lives, and when it goes back to the level, it'll say I've got 9. And there we go. Um, obviously, that's just a programming memory thing of when you're in a level, it tries to save some memory by only having a single digit. So basically, it gets to nine and then doesn't count any higher. Anything higher than nine is just nine. Um, but you notice every time when you finish a level, it tells you how many lives you've got. So don't worry, it is keeping count. Obviously, this is Labyrinth Zone, which is in the Mega Drive version. This is a, a kind of original take on it. Um, the Labyrinth Zone, Act 1 and 2, are actually both really big levels, um, and you can easily get lost in them. Um, except I know my way around. I've pretty much worked out the most efficient way over the years. So follow my lead if you're trying to play this game at home and don't stray off the beaten path because they're very big and very easy to get lost. And of course you're underwater so you uh, you know you get this countdown five, four, three, two, one. And then you have the bubbles of air. And if you don't get one of those bubbles then you run out of air and die. It's a really annoying enemy this, but if you wait then it throws its kind of spiky balls at you. Um, and if you fall down Actually, let's get some more air. Um, now, 
because he doesn't have his spiky balls, we can just roll and kill him. Um, I know most people really don't like underwater Sonic stages. I actually don't find this too bad, I don't find it too frustrating, it's not that slow. Um, and there's plenty of opportunities to get bubbles. Um, also, you don't get the kind of claustrophobic countdown music that you get on the Mega Drive. Dum 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 dum. Remember, um, uh, Octavia's kitten said when she was the small child it used to scare her. Now you see this button. Press that button. The ten rings has now turned into a life. So that's that's your hidden life. Annoyingly though, I haven't got 50 rings, so I'm going to have to kind of rather inelegantly jump and just get these last rings. It's not very neat, but I've done it. Uh, so here's the end of the level. We have 50 rings exactly, which is enough to get us into the special stage again. <sighs> which is cool. We're doing pretty well so far. We've got 25 lives now. And the... Okay, so here's the bonus stage that I said is really... I find really difficult. It's the third bonus stage, and therefore also the, uh, the seventh. <laughs> Can't do maths and play at the same time. So the third and the seventh. Remember I said, though, if you go for the purple springs like that, then you avoid a lot of your unnecessary bouncing. So I've got the continue, I've got the extra life. I'm not going to bother trying to get a hundred. Oh dear. Oh, bouncy bouncy. Oh dear. Come on Sam, get control. There we go, right, okay. Yeah. See, there was no way I would have got a hundred rings within that time, just because those platforms make the bouncing kind of impossible um, to be like fully accurate. So obviously you don't control Sonic, really. He's the springs control him. You just give him a bit of momentum one way or the other. Um, so here's Labyrinth Zone Act 2. This is probably the biggest zone in the whole game. Quite easy to get lost, but again, I've kind of got this down pat, so... Of course, anytime you see a spring, you can jump up and you can usually get out of the water and you don't have to get the bubble because you've come out of the water. If I jump to the right over here, there's a 10 ring TV. And all the kind of going out of my way to get that 10 rings because it's easy to get. Uh, that enemy there is Grounder from the uh, the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, the dick, dick animation. Um, and as far as I know, he's only in this game in that one spot, but that's definitely Grounder, as in Scratch and Grounder, the two kind of sidekicks for Dr. Robotnik. Right. Okay, so we've killed... although he's not Dr. Robotnik, is he? He's Eggman in that 2D suit. Um, so that was awkward jumping. Uh, they obviously have to do shallow jumps so you don't hit the spikes, um, but that's where the hidden extra life is. Quite difficult to get there and then not run out of air, so... We did okay there. Uh, there we go. So yeah, as I was saying, there's uh, if you go the kind of most efficient route in this level, there's not that many rings. So in order to get the kind of over 50 rings, that's why I bothered going out of the way to get that uh, that 10 TV. out of air. I think we should be okay. Shallow jump over here. Again, you don't want to do a long jump because you hit the ceiling and it takes too long and sometimes you fall on the spikes. Let's uh, get a bubble. This music is quite catchy. It always for some reason reminds me of the Doug movie. There was this, was it a Doug movie or a Doug episode where he sung a song about killer tofu. I don't know whether he was having a nightmare or Killer Tofu, ooh, Killer Tofu. Yeah, always reminds me of that. It's the same kind of, same few notes. Right, so if we jump up here, get our energy back. 
not our energy, our air back. And if we jump to the left, being careful of this kind of spiky ball circulating around that pivot. Or axle. There we go. Now we've got an invincibility shield. Now, Sam! Why are you getting an invincibility shield? You said you were not going to get hit. Yeah, I'm not going to get hit. But if you get that invincibility shield and run up here really quickly, this is how you get the extra life. And not the extra life, the Chaos Emerald. See, in those spikes, which you can only go in when you're invincible, otherwise obviously they hurt you, um, there's the Chaos Emerald hidden. So if you can get the... Obviously you can get it if you've got rings, but you'll lose your rings. Um, and I was trying not to get hit, so I was trying not to lose any rings. Um, so that's why I got the invincibility. But if you've got the invincibility, if you run and if you get there quick enough, you can get it without taking down. Okay, now again we're at this bonus stage that I said had the flippers. Now, if you remember what I said before, you have to kind of stay in the middle in order to get the TVs. Otherwise you'll just fall straight down, all the way down to the bottom if you're too far left or too far right. So there's the continue. One of those stupid pink candy bars getting in the way. Okay, there's uh I thought that was an extra life, but it's I thought it was a continue actually, maybe, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's an extra life. Anyway, um Yeah, I didn't get a hundred rings that time, but that's not surprising. I wasn't really trying to. I was trying to get the two TVs and I got the two TVs, so I'm happy with that. So now we're on the Labyrinth Zone boss. Yeah, Act 3, Labyrinth Zone. Um, now for some reason on this level you don't run out of air. But I'm very glad that you don't run out of air because otherwise it would be a complete nightmare. This jumping here is crazy awkward and specific. But that's how you get your bonus life. With all these jumps, you have to time it just perfectly and do only shallow jumps. If you jump slightly too soon or slightly too late, you'll hit the spikes no matter what. Also, if you do a, a big jump, not a shallow jump, you'll hit the spikes as well. Uh, this boss, we can jump twice there. Now, these missiles are heat-seeking missiles. So you notice, when I, as soon as I jump, it comes towards me. You want to do that while they're high. So this one is high, so we jumped again, because then it goes low and it goes underneath you. You don't have to worry about avoiding it. If you high, camp out in the left and just duck, then when it's in the middle, it doesn't hit you. Do that heat-seeking thing and then jump over it. And again, heat-seeking thing, jump, and it'll go underneath us. If we wait until a bit later, um, it's a lot more difficult because the missile comes directly at you. Now, I don't know if there's a more efficient way of doing this boss, but this is the way that I worked out how to do it as a kid. Uh, what I do know is you can't jump over and reach him when he's on the right-hand side. You just can't. Sonic can't jump that far, although you will see in a minute there's an exception to that rule, but right now he can't jump that far. Also, when Robotnik comes up in the middle of the screen, you can jump and hit him, but you can't then bounce off to uh, get back, so you die. Or maybe that's just me being rubbish, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you see that jump which 30 seconds ago Sonic couldn't do? For some reason, as soon as Robotnik is dead, he can do the jump, evidently. Maybe he was just so inspired by beating Robotnik that he got a sudden boost of strength and can jump higher, I don't know. Video game logic. Right. Scrap Brain Zone, Act 1. This is the easiest of the Scrap Brain Zones, as you might expect, being Zone 1. Uh, but I'm still going to be a little bit cautious here, because I'm trying not to get hit at all. And also, I'm trying to get the 50 rings, so obviously I was waiting for that fire there. Now, if you look, if you're quick, jump on, there we go, the two conveyor belts, and the second conveyor belt, well, it's three conveyor belts, but the second one, has a TV on it, um, and if you don't get it quickly, if you don't bounce on it quickly, then it falls off and it's lost forever. Um, obviously, those electric things, when they're yellow, um, it hurts you, but when they're not yellow, you can kind of run through them. Now we need to... Uh, see, I need to run through here, and wait, and then run through. 
and get some more rings because I'm trying to get my rank cards up. Um, now if you jump on this ring, you can then press that switch, and when we press the switch the door is opened. And then jump back up, there we go, through the door. So just get these rings, so I've definitely got my 50. didn't need to bother waiting for that one because I've got my 50 now so I don't need to wait. And there we are, I'm at the end of the level. Um, now you notice I didn't get the exclamation mark and you might be saying why didn't I get the bonus stage? I got over 50 rings, why didn't I go to the bonus stage? The answer is because there are only 8 bonus stages. Um, so if you complete them then there aren't any more bonus stages. The reason why I showed you getting 50 rings and not getting 100 is because if anybody's copying this like playthrough or actually trying to learn from this, I don't, don't know whether anybody would, but uh, if anybody is trying to kind of learn like tactics from this, um, if you'd mucked up one of the previous bonus stages, if you'd run out of time or whatever, then uh, that would have been your, your chance to get on the bonus stage again. Uh, right, so obviously these, depending on whether you run with the conveyor belt or against it, you either speed, slow down to half speed or you speed up to double speed, but either way it also speeds up the, speeds up or slows down the mechanics of your jumping. I don't need that. Ten rings, so I'm not going to bother. Now here, where the ceiling is really low, you can get underneath this fire by spinning and then you don't have to bother waiting for it. Uh, just speed you up a little bit. So you've got an extra life that's hidden there behind a locked door. Well, we just had a Y fork and uh, you see we've just gone down the bottom of the Y fork. We could, could have gone up but we went down and now we just jump right off here all the way down to the bottom and we just fall and then we fall, go left through a teleport and that is how you get to the locked door where the extra life is. So now we're back at the Y fork again but this time we're going to go up instead of down because we're aiming to get the Chaos Emerald. And we go up, keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. Jump, jump, and fall down. You want to fall down the third hole there. I know it seems counterintuitive, but it's sneaky. So if you fall down the first two, you die, but if you fall down the third, you end up here, and there is your Chaos Emerald. Now these pigs, you want to kill them right away, because if you leave them on screen for more than a second or so, they throw these bubbles at you, okay, and they kill you. You see that switch? I just pressed once. Don't press it twice, do not press it twice and go through the door. You don't want to do that. You want to press it once and then backtrack, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, so we're going back to the Y fork. Uh, that we took a minute ago a couple of times, and this time we're going to go down the Y fork again, but instead of kind of jumping off and... what we're going to do is go left. And you'll see there's three identical Y forks. Jump off and there's a pig. Again, you want to hit the pig straight away. So here's the second one. Jump off and hit the pig straight away. And here's the third one. Oh, didn't mean to spin there. Jump off and hit the pig straight away. There we go. Right, now we're going to do a shallow jump to the right. Good. If we'd have done a long jump there, we would have fallen down because you'd have missed it. But a shallow jump. Now you see, that door open there is the reason why we pressed that switch once. You remember I said don't press it twice? If you pressed it twice, you would have been stuck now. Well, not stuck, but you'd have to go back and press it again. Uh, spring is annoying, but let's just learn to avoid it. Now we're nearly at the end of the level. There we go. Sweet. Um, that is a really big level if you don't know which way you're going. Um, you can easily get lost in it, but um, it's nice and easy. Just remember with the Y fork, go down at the first time, fall down, get your extra life, go up the next time, get the... Um, Chaos Emerald, and then go down the third time. So now this, if I'm going to muck up, this is where I'm going to muck up, because this is the most difficult 
point. Once we get to this point, every time we get to a double door, don't go through the second door. See, like, don't go through that second door. Jump up. Don't go through that second door. Jump up. Don't go through the second door. Jump up. And there we go. Up. And the first time we go to the right. And we fall down here, all the way down to the bottom. Go to the left, and that is where your extra life is. Your hidden extra life. Again, don't go through the door. Jump up. Don't go through the door. Jump up. Don't go through the door. Jump up. Got a corridor here. Don't go through the door. Jump up. And we go up, but this time we're going to go the other way, I think. Yeah, so it's left. I think I got that right. Yeah, it must be, because I didn't get those rooms before. Um, we're going to jump up here. Now, you press that switch twice. If you press it once, that door will be locked, but if you press it twice, it'll unlock itself. And now we've got Robotnik. You might have thought, well, Act 3 is bound to be a Robotnik boss stage. Well, seemingly the boss in uh, Scrap Brain Zone is its a fiendish maze to try and trick you. Um, but once you get to the end of the maze, there's Robotnik, and you can just jump on that platform, follow him up into Skybase. Again, of course, we, uh, we've got... We've got... Uh, no more bonus stages because we've already completed them. Now this uh, sky base zone, Act 1, is really cool. You've got this really cool kind of lighting effect whereby it looks like it's at night time because everything's blue. And when that kind of lightning goes off, uh, you see the colours very briefly. Which I always thought was a really kind of cool effect for an 8-bit system. It's really nice. I know it's just palette swapping, but it looks really cool. And obviously when everything's flashing kind of yellow and the uh, lightning is making that kind of uh, noise, um, you can't jump through it. These, um, these kind of gun turrets shooting at you, you want to stick to the lower path here. Don't go high, go low. Um, and we'll go left. There we go. That's where the hidden... TV is, I had to double think then for a second. Um, but yeah, these, these kind of cannons shooting at you at this 45 degree angle, it always reminds me of the uh, of the Super Mario Bros. 3 level with the ship and all that as well. It's kind of similar, but it's like its own take. Um, remember I said this uh, enemy was really annoying in the Labyrinth Zone? Well, we've got a kind of pinky, orangey version of it. But this time, it doesn't shoot its spiky balls at you. So, usually, I would just kill it and take a hit and lose my rings, but part of my challenge here was trying not to get hit at all. So that's why I waited for it and just jumped underneath it. So as far as I know, the only way to kill it is to jump into it, but when you do that, you lose your rings. Now, these platforms, you'll probably notice, they only move when you're stood on them. If you jump like this, the platform doesn't move. So that's how you get through this kind of lightning, is you wait for it to go away. And we can get through again, there we go. And I believe we're right at the end of the level. Just a few more platforms to go. And there we go, we're going up into his ship in the sky, flying ship. Like skies of Arcadia, but like ten years before, eight, nine years before. Love Skies of Arcadia by the way. Sick game on the Dreamcast and GameCube. Now Sky Base Zone Act 2 is really difficult, but you don't need to do Sky Base Zone Act 2. If you just run to the left, as you saw there, you fall onto this platform. And Sonic does this weird little glitchy dance. Not sure what he's doing, but um, yeah, you're on this platform. You've got more platforms, and this might feel like you're cheating, and you kind of are, because you're missing 
what is essentially a very difficult level, but you're avoiding it. But this is the only way to get this hidden extra life. And uh, it's also the only way, as far as I know, to get the Chaos Emerald. Which takes it from being possibly the most difficult level in the game to being the easiest level in the game. This platform jumping really isn't difficult, it's probably easier than the kind of jumping over moving platforms and spikes of Green Hill Zone Act 1, even. So, it's kind of, this is the last proper level, but it's also the easiest level, as long as you remember to fall off to the left. If you didn't know to fall off the left and you just ran through the level, then, um, yeah, sucks for you, because it's really hard. Um, so we jump over these cannons, obviously, so they don't shoot us. And then we just run to the right, and we've uh, completed this level. Um, now this is the only exception to the rule of trying to get 50 rings to get on the bonus stage if you'd missed one. I wouldn't recommend it on that level, uh, because you can't get the extra life and the Chaos Emerald at that point. And it's more important to get the extra life and the Chaos Emerald. Now look! See that extra life just there? Just there? That's the hidden extra life, and you might say, well that wasn't very well hidden, Sam, and I'd say yes. But we're on the last level, and if you hadn't have collected all the other previous hidden lives, that TV wouldn't have been there. So many people don't even know that TV exists, and they would have been surprised when they saw it. Um, so it's kind of there as a reward. This boss is pretty easy, it's very difficult if you don't know, but if you know to just run to the left, like you keep seeing me doing here, run to the left, make sure you don't slip down the hill. I know it doesn't look very cool, but just keep running to the left, and then you avoid all the lightning, you avoid all the electric, electric kind of fireball things, and you've got two attack patterns. But they're easy to jump through. And there you go, there's Robotnik. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that fifth attempt through, and it's God knows what time, probably about one o'clock in the morning when I'm recording this. Um, this is not a good time to be taking a close up because I know I'll have bags under my eyes and uh, look pretty tired, but. Uh, Yep, I've done it. There's the Chaos Emeralds. You see there's two frames of animation there where Sonic kind of grabs the emeralds and pushes them up. Um, and they're only used in this end sequence if you get all the emeralds. So back in the day when memory was very, very limited, it's pretty cool to have an extra two frames of animation. Maybe I'm sad for thinking that, but uh, there we go. So we've got all six Chaos Emeralds. And how many extra lives did I have in the end? 37. 37 extra lives. Uh, totally needed them. Um, so yeah, that's 37 times one pound is 37 pounds. Quick maths. Everyday man's on the block. Um, and what did I say? The continues. I said five pounds for a continue. Um, you can only get a continue in the special stages, and we did eight special stages. I got a continue in every one. So that would be eight continues, five pounds each, that makes 40 pounds. 40 pounds plus 37 pounds is 77 pounds. Uh, even more quick maths. Um, so 77 pound. Voila, if it was, if it was nearly 75, if it was 70, I would have rounded it up to 75 pounds. Um, but as it's 77 pounds, I'm not going to be stingy and round it down. I'm going to round it up to a hundred pounds. So yeah, that's me. I'm going to donate a hundred pounds towards the pot for the mental health, uh, charities and, uh, good causes for mental health and supporting people who need it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, right now, I'm not going to lie. I'm skint right now. <laughs> I drive a pretty expensive car. I've got a Mercedes AMG C63, which is a very nice car. Um, but it's not a very nice car anymore because the engine blew up and it's costing me 
an absolute fortune to fix it. So at the moment it's off the road and I've spent thousands trying to get it back on the road. So right now I don't have a hundred pounds. Um, but Mr. Overdraft slash credit card will have a hundred pounds. <laughs> so until payday, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go into debt for the cause. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you've enjoyed watching this playthrough and you found it, uh, inspiring and, uh, whether it's because of the 36k challenge run that I'm doing or whether it's because of this superhuman feat, um, you might be, uh, you might be willing to drop me, you know, a pound or so to go towards the good cause. Uh, and that would be brilliant if you can go to the GoFundMe. Uh, I just saw in the credits there, I was right, it was Yuzo, uh, Yuzo Kashiro, I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, but Yuzo Kashiro who did the, uh, who did the music. So well done him because that is absolutely, amazing. obviously he's done so much good Sega music, but, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty made up with that. I think that may be the best playthrough <laughs> I've ever done. I've not, even when I was a kid, I'm not sure I ever completed it that 100% with not getting hit, not having any shields, getting all those extra lives, all the bonuses, everything. I'm, 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 I'm pretty pleased with that. It did take me five attempts, but I think it still, it still counts. I restarted four times, but I do think it still counts. And at whatever it is, one, oh, 146 in the morning, my god. A 1.46 in the morning, I can say I've finally beaten the game and managed to do it properly and do the challenge. If you can't tell, I'm tired. I can barely speak. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to all who support our channel and please consider helping our charity appeal either with a small donation or by sharing with others. Links in the description so excuse us princess. Massive thanks to Richard Carter aka Fantastic Dizzy, The Savage Gaming Show and all our other truly legendary patrons. I've been Samuel Victor, thank you for having me and hope to see you again next time. Probably look really manic now, so I'm just going to turn it off. Uh, but let's do my. Uh, let's do it again. I've been Samuel Victor. Thank you for having me. Goodbye. No, that's not it, is it? I've been Samuel Victor. Thank you for having me, and hope to see you again next time. Yeah. Okay, that's really it now. Bye.